Now, this is a basic dental examination. First of all, look at the forehead. These are the two masseter muscles here. And if a horse has had severe problems for a long time, you can actually see that one side of the muscle can be larger than the other because one side of the jaw has been working harder. Next, open the lips and look at the incisor of the teeth, both from the front and from the side. Then move the jaw from side to side. This enables you to see whether there's actually full and normal jaw movement. If there's severe pathology within the mouth, you might find that the jaw does not move as easily from one side. Then we need to have a look inside the mouth. Check that the gag is fitting correctly and that you've got plenty of room with the head collar. If the head collar is tight, then you might actually need to remove the head collar to have a look. But in this case, there's plenty of room. We then gently open the mouth. Once the mouth is open, we can then wash the mouth out. I give the mouth a good shake. That just gets rid of any excess fluid, otherwise it goes on me. Then we do a visual inspection of the mouth, followed by a digital inspection. At this point we now know exactly what will be going on in the mouth. There are further things you can do if you're worried. You can use um, auroscopes, or actually a, a small endoscope to have a look inside, use dental mirrors, and you can use dental picks as well. But for a basic routine examination, this would suffice. If the horse then needs his teeth doing, we then use the mechanical dental grinder. Each vet in the practice has their own dental mechanical uh, equipment. They come with two burrs routinely to allow us to correct any dental abnormality within the mouth. We are finding that horses tolerate this kind of equipment much better than the traditional handheld uh, floats or rasps. That's because it's much gentler. It is also much quicker, which means that the horse's mouth is not kept open for as long. So the horse benefits. And also, it's not as hard a physical work as it used to be. That enables us to do more teeth more effectively. I'm just going to turn this on so you can actually see how quiet this piece of equipment actually is. It makes very little noise and it's also incredibly safe. I can actually stop that burr with my own bare hand and it doesn't cause any pain at all. So it's incredibly safe for the horse.